Hello, you all. I have a message for you all talking about the Zodiac sign Taurus. Yes, Taurus, I have a message for you, my Taurus, the bull, my earth sign. So let's get into this message, Taurus. I have the that car in the upright. I have the seven of wands in the upright. Clarified by the queen of pentacles in the upright. This is your past energy. I have the two of pentacles in the upright. The queen of swords in the upright. Clarified by the five of wands in the upright. That's the presence energy. I have the will of fortune in the upright. The ace of pentacles in the upright. Clarified by the two of swords. This is in your future energy. The outcome. The ace of cups. Okay, Taurus. Taurus the bull. This is what I get for you all. With the deck card in the upright. The seven of wands in the upright. Clarified by the queen of pentacles in the upright. Now, I see where... You all went through some type of ending. I don't know if you felt it like someone was blocking you from. Like someone was blocking you from your pinnacles. Or someone was, or you had to block, excuse me. Or you was blocking someone from trying to sit here and, you know, leash off of you and take your money. But I see where you put some type of ending to someone. I don't know who this was, but you put some type of ending to someone who was trying to, like, leash on to you, leash on to, like, your finance or someone who wanted to, like, you know, benefit off of you some type of way. But I see where you put some type of end to a situation that maybe you was the only one giving to this situation. Maybe you was the one supporting someone. Maybe you was someone, you know, that was sitting here taking care of everything. So you decided to block someone, stay in your ground, you know, keep your distance from someone or keep someone from you. Uh, maybe this is someone who was trying to put an ending to what you had going on. So you had, for some of you all, some of my Taurus I'm talking to, you had to fight for what's rightfully yearns. Because you had somebody that was trying to sit here and probably trying to take something from you. But that's what I see in the past. Now, in the future... With the, I'm, I mean, in the presence with the two of pentacles, the queen of swords, clear by five to five of wands. That's what I'm saying. You, in the future energy, it's like you had to fight to bring some type of balance into your life. You had to cut somebody out. This is someone you had to cut off because whoever this was, they were trying to keep you off balance. So I see you cut somebody out of your life that was trying to have you all out balance. Now I can see where you try to hear this person out. You try to see what this person was talking about. But the more you try to sit here and work on this relationship, the more you try to like balance out this relationship or whatever this may be, the worse it became. It's like you was in a situation where nobody was understanding each other. You trying to fuss and get your parent across. They fussing to get their parent across. And it just had you all out banned. So you decided that, you know, you're going to speak your truth. You're going to hear them out. But at the end of the day, you realize that this is unhealthy. And you decided to cut it off. With the will of fortune in the upright. The ace of pentacles in the upright. Clarified by the two of swords. See, once you made up the decision... To sit here and choose the direction you want to go in. Once you met, you know, once you be, you came at this crossroad that you need to let something go. And once you decided to cut something out, that's when a lot of things is going to start happening in your life for the best. If you're not there, once you decide to cut somebody out or something that's, you know, unhealthy, Something that's causing a lot of drama 
or some type of, you know, negative energy, once you decide to cut it out, it's going to bring in more of this, you know, good fortune. And good things is going to start happening for you. Like you might get a promotion. You might get the job of your dreams. All of a sudden, your business starts taking out. But once you decide to cut out this negative energy, this drama, being around all type of drama and all this chaos and decide to focus on things that bring in positivity to you, that's when you're going to start seeing your blessings coming. That's when you're going to see all your good karma start to play out. That's when you're going to see, you're going to feel like, you know, God, the universe love you because it's like, a, it's like blessings on top of blessings is going to start coming your way. When you decide to let go, cut this drama, you have to cut this drama out. Once you cut this drama out your life, cut whatever this is out your life, that's when you're going to go more into this balanced type of energy. Until then, it's like until then, it's like you're going to still be in this energy of trying to stand your grounds and block whatever this is. And it's going to like slow up your pinnacles for coming in. It's going to slow this transformation for coming in because the whole thing is you don't have to stand your grounds. You don't have to put up a fuss or you don't have to have no type of victory. You just need to cut this out, whatever this may be. And once you do this, then you're going to see a lot of good things start happening for you. Now, I also see too, dealing with health tourists, if you decided to like, let go somebody because I feel like your health problem is coming from stress or it's coming from, you know, unnecessary drama. When you decide to let go some unnecessary drama, I see where your health is going to start balancing out, where you're going to start feeling good, where you're going to have energy, where you're going to, you know, have a lot of motivation. Once you let go, whatever this is or whoever this is that's causing drama, causing stress in your life once you let go of this then you're going to start seeing your body changing where your body is going to feel like you know it's going to start feeling good you know you're going to stop feeling so tense you're going to feel like a whole load have been lifted off of you where you're going to have a lot of up and going motivation if you've been sleeping days away because of this unnecessary drama trying to fight for your right or try to stand your ground against someone that's been like draining you out of your energy because i'm picking up strong that you have something that's going on that's really draining you out of your energy once you release this then you that's when all your energy is going to come back to you that's when you're going to feel more balanced that's when you're going to feel more focused and that's when you're going to be able to accomplish a lot of things that you have your mind on so that's what I'm seeing with health wise. You have to let go something that might, if you don't let it go, this can cause a real bad, serious health problem because stress can kill you. You know how they say stress can kill. And this is what's going on. You have to let go some drama because stress will kill, you know, anybody if you let it take you know, fully controlled. So let go of some something painful or stop stretching behind, you know, money. Like, you know, it's, you know, because you told with the bull, y'all like nice things. Stop stressing behind money because a lot of things will help start happening for you once you let go the need to like, you know, have fully control of the situation. Just let it go, go with the flow. And once you go, start going with the flow, you're going to notice a lot of good things starting to happen for you. But, you know, that's what I see. Now, far as like, you know, finance, I see a lot of something is going to be given to you. But right now, you really need to sit here and learn how to sit here and let go drama. Now, if you someone who got a quick temper, you need to learn how to control it because it will block your blessings. You can't sit here and expect good things to stay in your life if you, you know, quick temper. So once you go to getting into this Ace of Cups, like more into your heart space, 
opening your heart, then that's when the whole world will be yours. And a lot of good things is going to start coming your way. So that's what I see for my Taurus, the bull. Work more in a hard space. Let go of that unnecessary drama, you know. Stop entertaining, you know, low vibrational dumb stuff. And, you know, just go with the flow and focus on things that can bring peace into your life. This is what I see, Taurus, the bull. A lot of good things can happen for you, but it can't happen for you if you in that energy of anger, frustration, you know, competitive. You, it's nothing good is going to come out of that. Once you let go of that, then that's when you're going to start seeing your blessings start pouring in, dropping it down, raining on you. So that's what I have for you, Taurus, the bull. Thank you all. Goodbye. Peace. <laughs>